Hello and welcome to Prey. Uh, this is a game that I played sort of when it came out, you can see there. Um, and I, I did about 11 hours according to my Steam. Um, but for whatever reason, I can't even remember now, it was like a whole, whole year ago basically. Uh, for whatever reason, I stopped playing. Um, and just didn't come back to it. So I've been meaning to come back to this one for a while, and I figured that as I was doing so, and I'm starting up recording stuff again, it might be good to put on the channel. Who knows? It might be fun. I can talk all over it, basically. And I've remembered to turn the sound on this time, which is even better. Good I'll be able morning, to hear Morgan. things. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Excellent good times. Maybe. Possibly not. Oh. No. I pre-ordered this, apparently. Or did I just get it with DLC? Can't remember. Fine. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Suit. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided Ooh. to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Oh, my door's jammed. Terrible. Hands on electronics. Excellent. Just gonna generally have a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna nose around. Basically, ooh. I'll take this chunk with me. Why? <laughs> Who knows? Um, does it does it really matter why I would ever do such a thing? <laughs> ooh, warning: Neuromod should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cap firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against the eye for five minutes. Dispose of news Neuromod in provided biohazard bag. Hang on, for five minutes? Really? I seem to remember it taking a lot less time than that. We're very unsafe with our Neuromods in this game, is what I've discovered. Emails. So glad to see you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. Yay! But first we have a series of training exercises to be run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Neat. I send a package of everything you'll need for your first day, uniform transcribe and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Neat. Just got off the phone with mum and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff, but they send their best. I think mum's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said, you better behave and do everything a big brother says. I okay, actually said she had the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mum. And everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll probably call you again in the morning and make sure you're up. See you very soon, Morgan. Neat. Things. Take that. Oh my word. It's March 15th. Excellent. What's going on here then? From Chapter 1, Consciousness, The Fire in the Equations by Dr. Stuart Penrose. Much, much fluff. Uh, various things about stars and planets. Civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could have already had the have the entire galaxy colonized. We haven't detected any such <laughs> civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Well, yeah. Flush the toilet. Just chuck everything around. Turn the lights on. No, turn that off. You know, we've got to be eco-friendly, guys. Heart of the walk. 
Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavour to every new meal that is tasked to cook. That's right, I did read that book instead of the other ones. Why would I do such a thing? Who knows? Uh, I will take the sparkling wine. Um... Yep, scientific method. No, oh, no, come on. Read, read the books, damn it. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under ten minutes? I'd say you're full of it. The first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of Neuromod. Um, okay, I won't. I won't read the thing on cooking. I won't read the cookie book again. <laughs> Take the things. I'll ransack my house. Uh, I won't read that book again. I'll put on my uniform. Like a good employee. Yep, yeah, that was easy. Why does my uniform include really sturdy leather gloves? Who knows? Oh. God damn it. Oh, I can't see myself. Never mind. Oh, there's a helicopter out there, maybe. Neat. And I found the sprint button. Oh, door's locked. Morning, Mr. Yu. Hello. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Yes. I can see it through the walls. You'll have to take the elevator. I will. What's happened to the stairs? Is the stairs? The stairs are broken. We've broken the stairs, everybody. I will go to the roof. I'm not sure why I only have those two options. That seems unusual. <laughs> roof and my floor. That's a terrible elevator. <laughs> ah, here we go, the helicopter. On my first playthrough, I did successfully kill myself. On the helicopter. <laughs> like an idiot. Because, why wouldn't I? You know, you've got to experiment with these things. And I did. And I believe I got an achievement for doing so. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Ah. Yeah. Bethesda Softworks. That's nice. Hmm. What a lovely view. What a fancy helicopter. And well, I'm tapping my foot. No, oh, my That's word. a nice view on the bay there. Who? Who put those letters on my bridge? No, 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 no. That's not allowed. Equally, this is a tiny distance to have a helicopter ride for. This seems unnecessary. Can we just drive? Hell, we could probably walk. We could... I mean, I can literally see the building from, from the window, if I remember correctly. If that is, in fact, the building. Yeah, I could see this building. God damn it. We're just wasteful. We're very wasteful people. They're gone. The giant letters are gone. I'm hallucinating. I'm having terrible hallucinations. It's the suit, isn't it? You put something in the suit. Oh, the, these giant letters will comfort me. They will Here replace we are, the old Mr. ones. You. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. No, no, they can't as well. Well, fantastic. Yeah. You know, as it turns out, jumping into the helicopter blades is not a wise thing to do. I wouldn't have thought such a thing. In fact, can I? Oh no. Yeah, I don't know why I decided on the first time through to run up the helicopter. Yeah, load not save game. I saved it, it's fine. Which I didn't do the first time, incidentally. And as it turns out, if you don't save it, you get to take the helicopter ride again. Oh, hello. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. 
Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Excellent. You've sudden... I think I hit the volume button on you. You weren't very quiet then. You're right. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Okay. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Yes. I may be late. I don't know. We had a very, very wasteful long helicopter ride. And I, I've got some sort of strange headache. I don't know how I could have gotten that. Morgan! Finally! Hello. How's it going? Can't talk to you? Can't talk to you. Hello, sir. Um, what am I... Oh, here hey. we go. <laughs> you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. I know. You. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. I like Listen. your... Hello? Just be Sorry? yourself. I'll see you after. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, so I was just going to say, I, I like your glowing med kit. Could I have it, please? I, I might need that at some stage. Dr. Yu. Hello? Hey! Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All Screw your camera. Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly mm -hmm. as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Beep. Oh! Glass went very well. Wonderful. Oh, sorry, That's, what? You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Sorry, did I throw that at you? Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you there. Or did I do that in five seconds? Neat. Good time. Room B. Hello. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. Huh. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Cool. Morgan, we can see you there. Hush, you. You can't see nothing. Mm, uh, any synaptic register at all? No? Take that. No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. I am bringing the chair. Here we go. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Hello. Did you double check? Speaker still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Well, Not I have your fault. chair. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. I'm, I'm keeping this chair once we're done. I hope you understand this. I mean, I, I, think, I think my brother owns the company. I think I'm allowed to keep the... Oh, there's another one. Is that a better chair? Yeah, it's a better chair. It's not been thrown around as much. Can um, someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. You have it. a cup of coffee. Thank you. Yeah, there. See? Okay, Morgan. 
Have a seat at the table for me, please. I have a seat, and I'm at the table. It's not what you wanted, is it? Um, okay, I'll sit down. I'll behave. I'll be a sensible human being. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Okay. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Start. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love, or try something new. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. I'll go somewhere I like. Good. Hello. Looks like you've got Ding. the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Um. <laughs> it was worth it. No. Um. Cross. I'm not happy Ooh, about that. That's heavy stuff. Yeah. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Well, I I switched the tracks. Good. See? Next. Sensible. Bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Almost done. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. <laughs> push the push the fat man. Yes. You know what? <laughs> I'd probably do the same thing. I'm glad. Well done. Well done. We uh, I forgot about this. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. An I image. want you to take a mm. good look at it. In a uh, moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, It's um, it's that. Oh, hello. What's oh? Oh, well, what's with the gas? Ugh. Always a good point. What's that smell? Claps. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? What? No. He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. I mean, it doesn't seem like a problem to me. But then the gas is making me feel awful dizzy. Good morning, Morgan. Hmm? Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Is it? Goodness me. What a strange... Oh my. My things are back. I can loot the room again. Hooray! No, no phone call today. Oh, good. All the stuff's come back. I want my bits and bobs. Oh! I have more email. Oh. Uh. Right. Do I sleep in socks? Oh. Morgan, I disapprove. Well, I don't know where we are. It might be cold here. Yeah, there we go. Actually, that's a good point. Where am I supposed to be? Greetings from Austin, Texas. Kennedy Space Center. I don't know where I am, actually. I feel like I'm oblivious. Couch. Cannot carry the couch. Which is a disappointment, I'll be honest. Um, I'll take that. I've read that. There's possibly things in the fridge? Yes, I'll take those. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'll put that back. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Oh, a note. Congrats, Morgan. No, okay. That was probably there the first time. Oh. Neat. I'll just waste the water, it's fine. I'll turn off the lights, but I'm, I'll waste water happily. That's acceptable. Apparently. Uh, I'll put my suit on. Very quickly, again. Also without changing from my, out of my pyjamas. 
Oh. Oh. It's uh, a fish. Hello there. Anyway, um. You seem to be in a, um. in a bad way there. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. Also, what happened yesterday was real. My, um. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. I mean, I'm a vandal for doing that, but, um, but yeah. The, the end of the corridor's gone there, that's nice. Can I break the fish tank? Oh. Oh, I really can, wow. <laughs> I, I didn't realise I could do that. I, I knew I could get out through the, um, Good. the You're big... Good. You're in the simulation <laughs> lab. Now get to the exit. <laughs> I'll keep in contact. Why did they simulate the bloody fish tank? What a strange thing to do. Um, zero, well, yeah, sleeping, wakes up, turns off alarm, checks transcribe, on computer, various tasks, takes shower, puts on uniform. But yeah, I knew I could do that. You know, because I played it before. I didn't spend 11 hours sat in my apartment like an idiot. Um, which is, you know, an option, I guess. Oh, utilities. Audio events. Hmm. Pigeon visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the render data. Hmm. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Hmm. Oh, listen. Well, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. Move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. And this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being to treat- I was nearly said tortured then. <laughs> Yes, he's currently being tortured in the trauma center for terrible failure. Anyway, um, moving on from that grim version of reality. A trash can. Ah, yes. No, yep, they're safe. They're debriefing safe. Password, oh, that's... Thank you. Email. Password protection, no. You idiots. And about the morning, seen that bad install. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. That's nice, I guess. And notes. Manufacturing order number 65489. Delivered to Marco Simmons from Fabrication Department. Marking this entire SKU as defective. Investigate with fabri Fabrication Marco. Neat. Just hit things. Uh, that seems spooky. Cool. Nice and uh, nice and nice and spooky that. Bit weird. Nope. Oh. My wrench. Twist and loop handle wrench is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Um 
can hit stuff with it. I don't know how to use a wrench properly. That would be silly. Um, nope. I'll take my, my wires, please. Don't leave. Back in here. Oh, there's wires on top of there. Hmm. Damn it. I can't stack things. Can I nudge it? No. It's too heavy. I want those wires. How badly do I want these wires? Is there something light that I can carry? I can carry this, can't I? I don't need to be able to you know, get on top of it or anything. I just want to... Oh, I got on top of it. Excellent. Freedom. Sorry, I'm just I'm just generally exploring. I like to explore. Exploration is good. Especially when there's just crap you can pick up. Um God, I was terrible for that. Every Fallout game ever that I've ever played. Just how much crap can I haul around in my bag? And the answer is as much of it as I physically can. Is any of it of any use? Well, who knows. Hmm? Well, that doesn't seem suspicious in any way. Come here, you. Yeah. Screw you. Yeah. Yeah. God. The nerve. Neat. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm back and exploring. You'd think I wouldn't do this as I've previously explored this, but no, I'm doing that. That's fine. Oh, here we are. Oh, neat. I found the the elevator room. Okay, right. I've explored that area. That's fine. Oh, the deadly deadly helicopter. I can't imagine how much the imagine in that alternate universe where Morgan Yu just walked up the helicopter and slammed his head into the rotor blades. How much would they have freaked out? Just, yeah. The boss's brother, highly important to this experiment, has just wandered up the helicopter and had their head just completely removed. What? What is this? I probably don't want to carry that, actually, do I? That doesn't seem wise. Ah, there we are. Oh, hello? Seems to be some, uh... Oh! Because the elevator doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. They just fold away all the floors and things. Oh, can I get that med kit? Oh, I can. Good. Taking that. It's mine. I don't need that. Okay, I can't go in there. That's fine as well. No. Oh, hello? Sir? Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Oh, hello. Good morning! Oh. Jeez. It's actually broken that window. Oh. It's being a human. That's... Unnerving behaviour. Ow. You little git. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I'm going to need to eat some things, maybe. Restores one health, cures fit. Restores health. Restores 30 health. Oh, my word. Well, we'll do a save. I'll pick up some crap in this room. Um, and I guess it's... <laughs> I'm in the part of the game where I now need to hit every inanimate object I see. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. And then about the morning, Morgan's behaviour. Alex has requested all orders to go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we. 
Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings and within the test itself. Neat. Okay, right, well, um, this seems like a place to, to end the first episode. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you uh, with some more, more prey. Fun times, where hopefully we'll We'll delve a bit deeper into this and make our way into the into the game proper, as it were.